Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Um, it's probably about 72 degrees and our next 10 day forecast is basically the same. So not too hot, not too cold, perfect gardening weather. I'm so excited and I'm so excited because I finally got my annuals for this year and I get to get them in the ground. So I am starting with my front annual, I call it my annual swoop, this, this bed that you see the purple pansies in right now. Um, it is a garden bed that I reserve for annuals. It is the front and center of my house. And, um, you know, it's like, it's the focal point of my garden. So I love adding color to it. I love, you know, having pops of color and, um, I'm so excited to get it, uh, planted up for this year. So a little bit of history for, um, for this garden bed. We moved into this house in January of 2020. And when we moved in, we had some pink verbena in here. And I think, I think it was a tapian or tapian verbena. Very beautiful when it was in bloom, when it was in bloom, right? So it would like, it would flush out. I would fertilize it and it would look really pretty. And then after a couple days it would die out and it would look kind of brown and yucky, right? And it would just kind of flush in and out kind of as time went on. There was no rhyme or reason to it. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't want it to stay in there. Plus it was a slug and snail magnet. Um, you would like lift up the, the the leaf canopy and there would be snails and slugs everywhere. It was disgusting. So I knew I had to take that out and I was in the market for something that I didn't have to spend a ton of money on, right? I was kind of very new to gardening and I was afraid I was gonna kill everything. <laughs> so I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on anything. So what I found was Supertunia Vista bubblegum. It seemed like an overwhelming consensus that that was the way to go if you wanted bright color and you wanted to save money. So I actually found some at Home Depot. This was in 2020. Um, Home Depot and I think I planted five the first year, dotted all along here. Um, and I also mixed it with Supertunia Blue Skies. I always say it backwards, sky blue or blue skies. Supertunia Blue Skies. That was a huge mistake. The bubblegum like ate up the blue skies immediately. So I only had like one blossom of blue skies, you know, like every five feet or something like that. But the, the Supertunia Vista bubblegum was gorgeous. The Vista series in Proven Winners annuals, it, I mean, it is such a bang for your buck plant. It's so amazing. I got so many compliments. People would knock on my door asking how I got my petunias to grow like that. And I always told them it wasn't me. <laughs> it's not that I have a green thumb or anything like that. It's purely just the, the correct plant selection and, and knowing how to take care of it. So I had those in 2020 and then in 2021, I of course repeated it. And I think I put seven of the Supertunia Vista bubble gums gorgeous again. By that time, I had realized that Supertunia Vistas need food. You need to fertilize it for it to perform as well as you want it to. So I had started fertilizing it either once a week or once every other week if I was lazy and didn't want to come out and fertilize one day. Um, and then I also realized that we do have budworms in this area. So if you notice like holes on the flowers or, um, you know, like it, like all of a sudden one area stops flowering. It's possible that you have budworms and those are the worms that come from the little white butterflies that fly around and you can see the worms on your plants. So they'll be like little green things. I hate them. Um, and so the way to get rid of that is you want to spray BT, which is a natural chemical that's found in soil. You know, of course, some people don't like using that, but I, I feel fine using that. Um, I just use it in the evening where, you know, there's no other pollinators flying around, even though it doesn't even bother pollinators. Um, so that's what I would do. In 2021, I would spray the Supertunia Vista bubble gum. Um, every Monday I would feed it, and then every Tuesday I would spray BT, and it was beautiful. I was so proud of it. I just, I just loved it. I'll show you guys a little video of uh, my daughter riding her scooter by right here, um, and I, I just loved it so much. So I knew I was gonna do Supertunia in my front swoop um, this year, and I couldn't decide if I just wanted to fall back on Old Faithful of the bubble gum, or try something new. And then I heard that Proven Winners was coming out with a new Supertunia Vista. So Proven Winners has Supertunias and Supertunia Vistas, and they're both beautiful. 
Super Tuna Vistas are really good in landscape because they can get up to like four feet by four feet. They can get giant. So if you put that in a pot, like the bubble gum did to my blue skies, it's gonna take everything over. So you have to know what you want your Super Tuna for and pick the color, the variety accordingly. So Proven Winners just this year came out with Super Tuna Vista Jazzberry, which I am so excited about because it is like an electric, uh, magenta purple it, it like it's it's almost neon. I would say it's incredible it's absolutely beautiful and so much color and when I saw that it was like okay well that's definitely what I need to try um so I have I actually have 10 of those this year that I'm gonna put in here and then I also have two other things I have um sweet caroline sweetheart lime Ipomia, which is a sweet potato vine. So, so hopefully I can get a little bit of trailers. And then I also have a snow princess lobularia and I'm just going to kind of dot those in just, you know, I really like that mono look of the super tunia vista, but, um, I just wanted to see what it looks like to add a little bit, a little bit extra oomph, you know, <laughs> into the annual border today. So let me show you my plants. I have them over in my wheelbarrow. All right, here is my wheelbarrow full of goodies. So starting off with the Supertunia Vista Jazzberry. Isn't that beautiful? So it's described as a purple. It's definitely a pinky, I would call it magenta, honestly. Um, but it's definitely more on the purple side. It's so funny, Jason thinks this is totally purple, but then I, I was like this and he's like, oh yeah. So <laughs> I guess it's just how you describe it. Um, so this can get up to four by four. Um, it says 12 to 24 inches, um, but they can get so big. They can get massive. Um, and I'm gonna just dot these along the bed right here just at even spacing all the way around the swoop and so it is going to take some time for it to like totally fill in it's going to look a little bit sparse but i'm telling you within a month it's going to be incredible all right then i have Snow Princess Lobularia. So, so exciting. A white, you know, just the beautiful, sweet alyssum. And I just thought that this would be really, really beautiful. Um, just dotted, dotted all over the place. So I'm hoping that this will start trailing over the edge that I have right here. I'm going, I'm going to plant it kind of, kind of at the edge like that. So it starts trailing. And then I'll also do the same thing with my sweet Caroline Oh, sweet Caroline Sweetheart Lime. That's a mouthful. Um, but it's a sweet potato vine. I love sweet potato vines. I think they're so easy to grow and it's such impact. So if you did a sweet potato vine with Super Tunia Vista bubble gum, that's it. That's all you need. <laughs> It'll cost you barely any money and you'll have incredible impact all season. So these do get eaten by um, the budworms as well, I notice. Um, so I do have to spray these, but it'll just be easy to spray the whole thing. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, that looks good with the purple too. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing as the uh, snow princess. I'm just gonna kind of plant it kind of like that, angled um, just so that it can hopefully kind of trail over here. And the last two years that I had the super Tunia Vista bubble gum, I did even multiple times. I needed to trim the bubble gum back so that it didn't just totally take over the walkway and people could walk. That's how big they get. You know, like one of them will get out to here. It's crazy absolutely crazy. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to take out all of these pansies. I'm going to try to save there's daffodil bulbs in there. I always have daffodil bulbs. Sometimes I will dig one out, you know, on accident. That's totally fine because I'm actually planning to plant um, a couple different varieties of daffodils so that I can get a longer bloom time this next season. So what would that be? 2023. Um, so I don't feel bad if I, you know, accidentally dig up a couple of them. Um, so yeah, so my neighbor wanted the pansies, the purple pansies, and she's going to try and grow them. You know, they could, they would probably last another month or so before it gets too hot for them. She also has a lot more like partial shade in her yard than I do. So they might do well and better, you know, better than just tossing them. So I'll dig those up. I'll take those over to her and then I'm going to amend the area with a little bit of compost, um, just to kind of work the soil, you know, get some good stuff in the soil. And then every time I plant any one of these plants, I'm going to put a little bit of this premium continuous release plant food, which is what Proven Winners recommends when you're planting their annuals. So just a little bit of that to help the plant get going. 
And then this is heat activated, so when it gets hot, it's just gonna give the plant a little bit extra oomph. And these are such heavy feeders. This is, you know, this is definitely gonna help it. And then what I'll do is every week from now on, I'll come out here with the Proven Winner Proven Winners Water Soluble Plant Food. Give it a nice feeding every Monday because Monday is my feeding day. All right, let's get going. Detour, bloom break. I am loving my Eden climbing roses. They are so pretty. You guys, isn't that gorgeous? So I think I need to train this guy to go like that. Oh yes, oh yes, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I have all the plants laid out. I, I think they're even. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. But basically there's 10 of the Supertunia Vista Jazzberries and then interspersed each one, sorry about my shadow, um, but I have a Sweet Potato Vine, Jazzberry, Snow Princess. That looks a little close. Ugh, this spacing is hard. Um, Jazzberry, Sweet Potato Vine, Jazzberry, Snow Princess. Jazzberry, Sweet Potato Vine, Jazzberry, Snow Princess, etc., etc. So I'm just gonna uh, amend each hole with compost and then I'll put in that continuous release fertilizer. And then I wanna show you guys the pansies because they look gorgeous all together. Don't they look pretty? Such a shame to take these out, but they're not going in the garbage. They actually would be really pretty right here with the salvia. Maybe I'll hold back a couple and just plant some right here. <laughs> we'll see. I did already promise them to my neighbor. I can't go back on that. All right, let's get to planting.
done. So big project, but I'm so happy that it's in and now it can start growing and it's going to, it's going to look so beautiful in just a little while. I cannot wait. Um, so I did get a little bit of help from my daughter, which was very sweet. It's nice to spend time with her. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys exactly what I did. All right. So there it is. I really should close my garage door, but whatever <laughs> it'll be fine so here you can see my annual swoop my front annual swoop um and then what i did is i alternated like i said the jazzberry the sweet potato vine jazzberry snow princess jazzberry sweet potato vine jazzberry snow princess so these jazzberries are obviously going to get huge the sweet potato vine is going to get huge the snow print they're all going to get huge but i'm really excited to see how it's going to look because i've never done like a little combination with with the supporting spillers um here before so i think it will be absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited about it um so i did end up giving all my pansies to actually two neighbors that wanted them so they're gonna plant them in a little bit of shade i definitely could have planted them in my yard but it was just easier just to to give them to my neighbors and and they really appreciated them so yeah looking really really good so that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the first of many videos of me just getting my annuals in for this year. I cannot wait. Annuals, summer annuals are probably my favorite thing to plant just because we have such a long hot season here. And uh, you know, it just, it really makes a difference when you have annuals that can stand up to those type of conditions. So thank you all for stopping by. If you wanna see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And I hope you all get a chance to get into your garden today.